Tai and Yanling 1. Why does China's satellite network shock the world? Why does it make its opponents restless? Hey, everybody! I am, your LIU, a space fan who is obsessed with space science and technology and knows all about the space trends of various countries. Today, I'm going to give everyone a super big hit. On the 2127 of May 11, 2025, the night sky of Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center was suddenly torn apart by a fire, and a 530-ton space giant rose from the ground. This shocked the Western world, where they were still guessing what treasure this skyscraper-like rocket was going to send to heaven. As a result, the global radar screen instantly jumped and China's latest remote sensing satellite completed the global networking in just 30 minutes. This news has stirred up thousands of waves in the space circle, but few people know about it. Today, I will take you to have a good look at how awesome our Skynet is, and why it can make some forces restless and sleep well. Next, let's take a look at the weapon Long March 6A that carries satellites to space. Then we will have an in-depth understanding of the remote sensing number 40-2 satellite which makes our opponents sleepless. Finally, we will discuss the great significance of this sky network for our country and its future development direction. The Star Carrier, Changzheng 6A. First, let's talk about the Long March No. 6 reform, which has made great contributions this time. The Jianghu is called Changliuja. This rocket is too domineering, with a total length of 50 meters. What is the concept? It's taller than 16 stories. When it took off, the tail flame covered an area that could not fit in half a football field. It was conservative to say that it was a mobile launch pad. Weighing 530 tons, it is equivalent to 350 cars stacked on top of each other. This big guy can accurately throw a 6.5-ton satellite into the Earth's space orbit 500 kilometers away, and how small is the error? No more than the size of a bedroom, this precision, simply amazing. The black technology on Changliuja is also quite eye-catching. It is bundled with a solid booster, which is a tough roll. It can burst out 1,200 tons of thrust in 10 seconds, which is equivalent to 16,000 cars exerting power at the same time. Compared with traditional rockets, the liquid core stage can directly save 30% of fuel and achieve full efficiency. It is not an ordinary carrier rocket, but an express delivery of China's aerospace industry, which specializes in using strategic satellites as special space vehicles. This treatment is not available to ordinary satellites. Although the US Delta IV heavy rocket has a strong carrying capacity, its launch cost is ridiculously high. The cost of each launch is as high as about US $0.4 billion. Moreover, compared with our Long 6, it does not have any advantage in launch efficiency. Although Russia's Proton-M rocket is also a veteran player in the aerospace industry, it can still see the gap compared with the Long 6 in terms of technological innovation and launch accuracy. The emergence of Chang Liuja indicates that China has firmly stood in the forefront of the world in the field of launch vehicle technology. In the future, we will send treasures to space, which will be fast, stable and save money. The sky eye that makes opponents sleepless, remote sensing number 40 group 2. The remote sensing number 40 group 2, which followed Changzheng 6A to space this time, is a sky eye that keeps rivals awake at night. The family of remote sensing satellites can be summarized in three words, fast, light and complete, each one being very powerful. Let's talk about fast first. 20 years ago, when our first remote sensing satellite was launched, it had to be scanned by relay, which was relatively inefficient. But now, if you look at the remote sensing constellation completed by our network, you can return to any corner of the Earth within 10 minutes. What does that mean? For example, if there is a sudden change in a certain sea area and the command is reached, the nearest satellite can complete the steering in 15 seconds, turn on the machine in 30 seconds, and return the high-definition image in 2 minutes, which is shorter than the time it takes you to finish a short video. In the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, satellite reconnaissance played a huge role. NATO intelligence services provide Ukraine with a large amount of battlefield intelligence through commercial satellites. The US Space News website stated that the US intelligence agencies have cooperated with nearly 100 commercial satellite companies to obtain massive amounts of Ukrainian battlefield images. If our Chinese remote sensing satellites were there, the speed and efficiency of obtaining intelligence would not have to throw them out of a few streets and take the initiative in the battlefield in minutes. 
Speaking of light again, don't think that remote sensing satellites are just taking a fuzzy outline. The resolution of our latest technology can reach 0.5 meters. You can clearly see the type of car on the ground and the lines on the deck of the ship. What's more remarkable is its penetrating ability. Even if the target is hiding in tropical rainforests or under deserts, microwave remote sensing can directly find out hidden military facilities like Perspective. The Keyhole satellite of the United States was considered to be one of the most advanced reconnaissance satellites in the world for a long time, but our remote sensing satellites have been able to compete with it in resolution and penetration capabilities, and even in some ways, it has been surpassed. In the past, we were backward in technology in this area and were stuck by others. Now we have our own golden eyes, and no one wants to do little tricks secretly under our noses. Finally, Quan, from the Arctic ice cap to the equatorial jungle, from urban high-rise buildings to deep-sea trenches, any corner of the world is within the monitoring range of our remote sensing satellites, truly achieving no dead angle coverage. The Zero-2 groups of satellites launched this time have focused on strengthening the electromagnetic environment detection capability. It is like a CT scanner that can scan all electromagnetic signals around the Earth. Any warship is secretly debugging radar and any spy satellite is doing little tricks, all of which will be written down in a small notebook for you. Russia is also strong in the aerospace field, and their remote sensing satellite technology also has its own characteristics, but in terms of the comprehensiveness of global coverage and the fineness of electromagnetic environment detection, our remote sensing 40 Group 2 is better. With such a powerful satellite, we are more confident in speaking internationally. Those countries that want to exercise hegemony in space have to weigh it. A key component of China's space defense system. Why does it have to use a national weapon like Chang Liuzhe every time a remote sensing satellite is launched? Because this is not an ordinary scientific research task, but an important snowmaking project of China's space defense system. Once in wartime, this set of remote sensing constellations can instantly switch to a military reconnaissance network, which is beyond imagination. As soon as the enemy missile launcher left the warehouse, our satellite could lock the coordinates immediately. Before the aircraft carrier formation left the port, the trajectory prediction had already been transmitted to the command post. In the past, we were backward in space reconnaissance technology, and in international affairs, we could only respond passively. Now with this powerful Skynet, we can know ourselves and the enemy and take the initiative. This is like in a battle, others are still looking for their way in the dark. We already have high-definition maps. How can we fight this battle? We must have the advantage. In peacetime, it can also play a huge role in directly crushing technological hegemony. Once upon a time, the West relied on GPS and keyhole satellites, which were dominant and arrogant in the field of global surveillance. Now, relying on purely domestic technology, China has built a completely independent system, from rockets to satellites, 100% autonomous and controllable. After this launch, our remote sensing constellation scale has ranked among the top three in the world. What does this mean? It means that if some countries want to engage in space monopoly, they have to ask our heavenly eye whether they agree or not. To when we were not strong enough, we could only watch others do whatever they wanted in space. Now that we are powerful, we must let them know that space is not theirs alone and we also have a say in the ability to protect our own interests in space.